<laughs> Good afternoon. Call the meeting of the Oklahoma City Water Utilities Trust to order. First order of business is to approve the meeting minutes from the March 28, 2017 meeting. I would recognize a motion to that effect. Second. It's been moved and seconded. We'll vote. Approved. Next item is the consent docket. Yes, Mr. Sir. Chairman and trustees, we would recommend that we strike item 3C. Okay, so we have a um, striking of item 3C, and is there a motion to approve the consent docket with that exception? So moved. Second. So moved and seconded. We'll vote. Approved. We'll move to the concurrence docket. Are there any comments about the concurrence docket? Move the concurrence docket subject to individual consideration. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. Are there any comments? Seeing none, we'll vote. Approved. And now I have a few items for individual consideration. First one is an item to recommend the City of Oklahoma City adopt resolution declaring May 7th through May 13th drinking water week. Any comments? I like it. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, Chairman and Trustees. Um, I'm Dustin Sigurds, Water Quality Superintendent. What this resolution is is AWWA is putting out a national campaign um, that is declaring May 7th through the 13th um, Drinking Water Week. Um, and what their theme is is to know your water. And so I've been working with Christy Yeager and our um, public information officer will be putting together some information, put on the website, um, some art coloring contests um, for the children in the schools that they can download some fun facts about our tap water in Oklahoma City. Um, is this a way that to be able to help promote um, and be a part of a national campaign to get to know our water here in Oklahoma City? Any questions? Uh, I do have one question. Yes, sir. You know, the overall quality of Oklahoma City's water is really good. It's, it's rated very high. But every now and then, depending upon where you're located at, uh, whether it's a resident or a business, sometimes that water doesn't taste as good. Does that have something to do with the uh, infrastructure of that facility that you're at? I mean, is the pipes or something? Dennis, do you know? Or there's, there's many factors that, I mean, it's just, you just can't say make a blanket statement for overall. Um, it depends on sometimes it's the, the circulation in the system. Sometimes um, we create dead ends in the lines that we flush. Um, sometimes it is the age of the pipe. Sometimes it's the velocity. And, and the, when you get a fire and turn off, the hydrant's on and off, and it, it shakes loose some of the some of the insides of the pipe and the coatings. And so it, there's many factors that go into it. But we have a rigorous flushing program that any time we get a complaint that we always respond to it within 24 hours to investigate the situation. Because you are correct, is we're very proud of our water quality in Oklahoma City, and we strive to make sure that um, the citizens and the residences are, are pleased with our water. Thank you. Is there a motion for this item? Move the item. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. We'll vote. Approved. Next item is the fiscal year 2018 loan agreement with the McGee Creek Authority. Estimated amount of $2,368,330. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, I would recognize a motion to approve. Move the item. It's been moved. Is there a second? second. Moved and seconded. We'll vote. Approved. Third item. The joint resolution of the City of Oklahoma City creating a water improvement district for Clifford Farm subdivision, generally east of May Avenue and south of Northwest 178, determining the properties and tracks in the district, the water improvements to be constructed, the estimated water improvements costs, the benefits derived by each track, the cost to be assessed each track, and the manner of paying assessment by each track, directing the city engineer to provide and authorized to approve plans and specs for the Water Improvement District and the Oklahoma City Water Utilities Trust authorizing general manager to approve plans and specs for the water improvement and secretary 
to call for seal bids for the construction of the water improvements for the water improvement district for Clifford Farm Subdivision WC 0910. Questions or comments? Seeing none, I recognize a motion for approval. Been moved, moved and seconded. We'll vote. Approved. Final item is a resolution directing the general manager to prepare an ordinance amendment for consideration by the city of Oklahoma City to update boat stall permit fees and incentivize customers to buy boat stall permits at Lake Stanley Draper by amending the Oklahoma City Municipal Code and authorize the general manager to hire a consultant to assess the Lake Hefner boat stalls to identify and provide recommendations to attract more customers and complete a boat stall rate analysis. Move the item. It's been moved. Is there a second? second. Moved and second. We'll vote. Approved. Are there any items from the trustees? Mr. Chairman, just a thought. Uh, if the committee or if the trust and the staff could consider the possibility of, of uh, meeting once a month instead of every two weeks, uh, just wanted to throw that out for consideration. Thank you. Consideration will be made. Any, uh, any general manager reports uh, on the number of customers that pay their utility bill with a credit and debit card and the status report on the utilities department? Anybody have anything to say about that? I guess not. Okay. Any citizens to be heard? Seeing none, we're adjourned. <laughs>